Well, Mason's birth was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I wasn't expecting him until June 22nd and on the night of May 28th after having a Memorial Day celebration, I went home and on Tuesday morning I was here and in labor with Mason. And I was scared because I was really nervous because I knew he was a couple weeks early. And they did a really good job of keeping me nice and calm and relaxed and um, just kept me updated with everything that was going on. They brought him into my room so that I could actually see him in recovery for a few quick minutes so that I could just hold him and get to bond with my baby a little bit. And then they brought him back here and they kept coming in and updating me on everything that was going on because I couldn't come see him right away. And um, then as soon as I could get up and see him, I got to come in here in a wheelchair and visit with him and all the nurses were wonderful. They explained every little bit of, every piece of every machine to me and what it meant and what you want to see and what you don't want to see um, happen. So they were really informative. The equipment is very, very up to date and high tech. Um, for example, um, he was like, in the open and I was curious, well, how can he be in the open and they have a little sensor that connects to a heat lamp that whenever his body temperature would go up, the heat lamp would go down and whenever his body temperature would go down, the heat lamp would balance it out and keep him warm. Um, there's oxygen right on here, um, all the monitors and suction and everything that you might need if you know an emergency and unfortunately would arise which they do sometimes when babies are a little bit early it's nice that it's portable because just in case um, he would have had to i mean if he would have had a heart problem that they would have discovered or anything it's transportable that he would have been able to stay in his environment and go back to wherever they would have needed to take him Sheboygan Aurora NICU um, is very calm and quiet and um, it's very, very private. Um, so when I feed him or care for him or anything, it's the lights are always nice and dim. It's a very, very happy environment. All the staff is very in a very good mood. You know, they're very positive and which has really helped me stay positive because it is, it's really, really scary when, you know, things go wrong, especially with such a tiny little person. I think that having the Aurora Sheboygan Level 2 NICU um, was very, very important in my recovery as well as Mason's well-being. Um, I think that babies do much better and moms do much better and it's kind of a circle of healing for the baby and the mom to all be able to be together. Having the Aurora Sheboygan Level 2B NICU um, locally and here right in Sheboygan in my hometown where I delivered him has been extremely convenient and helped with the ease of continuing my family life along with caring for my baby um, pretty much 24-7 and still being able to be a mom at home, um, being local and being in a familiar environment and knowing where all of my resources are has made for a much more comfortable and easy transition from being pregnant to adding another baby to our family. Um, Again, I can't imagine if I would have to travel over an hour away and be away from my other children and be away from my family and they would have been unable to share in the experience of the joy of his birth also. Having a Rorschach Boykin Level 2 in the queue has been amazing.